Hello, this is Dr. Janish, and this video is going to be about ultrasound guided percutaneous tenotomy. In this video, I'm going to be using the 10x fast technique to remove dead tendon at the level of the lateral epicondyle. This is done for a tear of the common extensor origin or for patients with severe tennis elbow. Patient's arm is being prepped with chlorhexidine or hibiclens, and the operating room nurse will set up a sterile field using sterile drapes and towels. Once the sterile field is in place, I will uh, find my anatomical landmarks and begin the procedure. We'll start by wrapping an ultrasound probe with a sterile cover. This allows us to maintain sterility through the entire case, as well as continue to visualize everything with ultrasound. I then use some sterile ultrasound jelly, which actually feels cold to the patient. This particular patient is awake during this procedure and will only be under local anesthetic. Here's the ultrasound image that I'm visualizing. You'll see a bright white line in the middle of the screen, and that's actually the bone or the lateral epicondyle. Immediately above it, which will be marked with an arrow, is the tear of the common extensor origin. This black area is actually the tear or the injury to the tendon that will be removed during this procedure. I carefully scan this entire area, really getting a good feel for the tear. Again, here's another picture. This is the tear seen above the bone in the common extensor origin. This is the installation of the local anesthetic. The patient is actually awake and is not under any sedation. You can see the needle on my screen entering the common extensor origin and the subcutaneous tissue overlying it. Doing this under ultrasound allows me to place the medication immediately into the area that I'll be working on as well as use less medication. I like to rub this in. This allows me to have a little extra time for the medication to take effect as well as spread out some of the fluid that I've just injected. At this point I'm using an 11 blade scalpel to make a tiny little opening that the ultrasound probe will go into the arm. This is like a paper cut and is extremely minimal. This area is already under local anesthetic and is not painful. This is the TX1 hand piece that I'll be using. It has a micro tip that actually performs the work of the surgery. This tip actually cuts and debrides the dead portion or the injured portion of the common extensor origin tendon. I'm using ultrasound here to position the tip of this instrument right into the area of injury. I also have a foot pedal below me that I'm using to activate the tip. This tip will use ultrasonic energy to cut, debride, and remove the dead portion of the tendon. You'll see that I'm moving this in and out and can follow this on the screen above under ultrasound. At the same time, I'm pushing a pedal on the floor and it makes somewhat of a hissing sound as it removes the black portion of the tendon that we saw earlier on ultrasound. You can see that it's removing it in real time. Here's the cutting time, and this is the actual time that I've been stepping on the pedal. So far, we're up to 33 seconds. Typically, we end up using about a minute's worth of cutting time energy. I'm still working away and removing all of that black area, at least as much as possible, that we originally visualized. You can see it's 
being removed very effectively here. At this point I feel satisfied and we'll go back and take a review. I've used one minute and one second of cutting time. And we'll take one final look with the ultrasound, uh, getting a good visualization of the area that has been worked on here. Now taking a look at the ultrasound, the area that was once visualized as dark black or hypochoic is nearly completely removed. There's a very small shadow in this area and you can see that the tear has been very effectively removed. At this point I apply a little pressure and squeeze out some of the irrigation fluid that was instilled using the 10X probe. Get this area nice and dry and then I apply a small dab of Dermabond which is very similar to super glue. One little dab will seal the wound. You can see how small that is. And then we'll place a sterile compression dressing, which puts just a little bit of compression on this area, keeping some of the swelling down and also covering the wound. This patient did extremely well and tolerated this procedure without discomfort. The patient has been instructed not to lift anything heavier than a coffee cup for the next six weeks. We'll wear this compression dressing for four to five days and we'll see the patient back in the office in six weeks time. Thanks for watching.